Well, guys, guess what time it is? It is car show time. We got to get the old Mopar out to the shop, get her cleaned up for the car show. So we made it out to the shop, we got the car all washed up and polished and tires shine and wheels and everything. And wouldn't you know it, on the way home, in vain I tell you, keeping an old car or any car clean is an effort and futility. All right guys, it is Sunday. It is car show day for the International Festival here in St. Stephen and Callis and uh, we're just getting ready to get the car that doesn't look good what i was gonna say was we are just getting ready to get the car uh, out and head down to the car show and there's a big puddle of antifreeze underneath it well shiza check that out So I don't see anything on this side where the floor is even wet underneath the car. Nothing down there either. That's my AC drain, which I don't have. So that tells me I think my heater core has gone bad sugar. I hope that didn't leak into the inside of the car. The carpet doesn't feel wet. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but underneath this little actuator arm, there is a couple of drips of antifreeze on the heater core. They're under the heater core here. So, so the question becomes, do I take it to the car show, which is just two blocks away? I'm thinking so because it's gonna be uh, quite disappointing if I don't take it down there and I wanted to get some film anyway. So I could either take the car or not take the car. We're gonna see if we can plug that hole in the firewall at least and uh, see what happens when we start her up. Well, for now, I don't see anything leaking. We're gonna take it down to get a coffee and then head downtown and we'll check it again. I brought the gallon jug of water with me, so just in case you need to add to it before I come home. So let's go and get to the car show. All right, guys, we are at the 46th Annual International Homecoming Festival car show part of this weekend, and you're gonna get some pretty good looks at a lot of nice vehicles. So let's go take a look at some cars and maybe we'll get a few interviews along the way. And here is something that you don't see every day as an International Scout. This is a 75 model and man, kind of takes you back to what old school 4x4 and really is big competitor with the Ford Bronco and uh, as far as I'm concerned a lot better looking vehicle than the Ford Bronco. Sorry guys. So we're gonna go find the owner, see if we can get a little bit of information on this one. I know who it is, so it won't be hard to track him down. So maybe you can tell me a little bit about your scout. I know, I know that they're, uh, I know the history of them a little bit, but as far as yours, is it all original drivetrain, or okay. you got it all beefed up, or what? Yeah. Um, no, this this scout actually came from. Uh, it was actually local, and you don't see many of these scouts in this kind of condition around here because of the rust issues. Uh, but uh, I would manage to uh, find it. There, an, an older man, he's 82, original owner, uh, had it, and it was pretty well stocked. I, um, it's got the original drivetrain in it, 345 V8, uh, torque flight transmission, 
uh, Dana 20 transfer case, it's all still there, all original, uh, original mileage. Interior is pretty well original except for the stereo. And I added a seat so I could fit the whole family in oh, this yeah, thing. Okay. Um, and then I went ahead and did a few mods myself. Uh, I did a lift kit on it. I put 33s on it, uh, 15 inch wheels, old style wagon wheels. And then I just had these two components done. These rock sliders I just had put on. This local guy did these for me uh, in St. John area. And this uh, roof rack with the IH symbol built right into it. And so it's pretty much stock, um, 1975. It was a great year. And uh, I got a hold of it and we've had it for about five years now. Um, if you want to take a walk around, so pretty well original. I mean, this is original paint. Sure. I mean, it's you can see where the old guy touched it up here and there. It's got dents and dings. It's not perfect by any means. And for those um, of you who don't know, the hoods on these things do not open up conventionally. They do yep. open up backwards, so, so to speak. Opposite direction. Yep. BMWs and things like that. Give you a look at the engine. It's, this is all original, so it hasn't really been touched too much, cleaned or anything. And that is a 345 V8 international international motor. Yeah. Stock, stock. Not a ton of horsepower in these babies, but they had a lot of torque. Block out hubs. Like I said, I didn't do too much. Just a four-inch lift, and I had this bumper built and put on it. So that's a custom bumper? That's a custom bumper, yeah. And I haven't got my winch on it yet. I'm put this thing down. Yep. Oh, locks on the other side. Yeah, so it's yeah, pretty, well, pretty well original, except for, you know, a few little things that I Close wanted to add to. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice old truck. Runs better, good. better than any Bronco I've, I've ever seen. Oh one. yeah, <laughs> my, Paul has a Bronco, Does he? a twin. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's in the middle of building that. Rob, thanks for sharing. Hey, thank you very much. All right. So guys, we got Larry Nixon here with us, and he's got this beautiful 79 Trans Am. Larry, tell us about the car. How long have you had it? I bought it in the fall of 78, so this fall will be 41 years I've had it. So you bought it brand new? Yep. Put it away that first fall when he first got it, and never been out in winter. Nice. And all original paint? No. No? Dickie Madison painted it. Okay. 2002. Yeah. All base blue. I painted the whole complete underside of it. I bored one day, thought I'd Daddy, <laughs> jack it up, paint the whole underside all black, yep. shiny black. So uh, tell us about the engine, it's a 6.6. Yeah, it's the Oldsmobile 403. How much horsepower? Well, that I don't know. 
round. Of course, back then they underrated them severely. Yeah. And they were pretty all smogged up, yeah, too. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be much more than right now, maybe. That might be 250. Yeah. Really Which is pretty well standard for V8s of the yeah. age. Yeah. Yeah. They were uh, highly underrated. But it is a beautiful car, Larry. Thank you Any for telling me a little bit about your car. No problem. Very right. good day. And for all you hardcore Panther fans, this is an 83 Crown Victoria two door coupe. And I heard the guy just talking to another fellow here a minute ago original paint. And here, in my, in my opinion, is probably one of the highlights of the show is this beautiful Pontiac Parisienne 1960 model. Four-door hard top. It is a 261 six-cylinder automatic matching numbers car. And it is probably one of, if not the, cleanest car here at the show today. So you're Isaac. I'm Isaac, yeah. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Jason Carr. Jason Carr. And I've got a YouTube channel. And I've taken some videos of some of these cars, and I'd like to know if you would uh, talk to me a little bit about your car. Yes. Okay. So, guys, I got Isaac here with his 1960 Pontiac Parisienne. Can you tell me a little bit about the car, how long you've had it, and any work that you may have done to it over the years? Seven years. I only had a paint job, period. All the chromes, everything is original as it came out of the factory. Wow. The paint was a little faded, so I had the chrome removed, painted, and that's it. That's all. And as far as the drivetrain, everything original there too? Perfect. The handbrake cable are still original. Wow. And this flat roof, only GM built that, 59 and 60. Chev Oldsmobile, Buick, Pontiac. Yeah. At, it was only two years. And in order to have a flat roof, four-door hard top, you had to buy the Parisian. There was 170 bill back then in, in the 60s. Wow. That's why there's none on the market right now. You <gasps> look all around. Somebody that. asked me earlier today, what would the value of that car be? And I, in my mind, I was thinking, you don't see very many of the four-door hardtops. So it makes it unique, and production numbers would, would address that as well. Yeah. So I said, hard to put a number on it, probably worth uh, whatever someone's willing to pay for it. It's right now. It's a it's a praise at sixty four. Yep, and and well worth every penny. I, was like, I know yep. because you cannot. But it's not for sale. No, <laughs> I didn't think it would be. I had one when I was young, exactly the same. It took me a long time to get one. Yeah, Isaac, thank you so much for sharing. Oh, you're welcome, Great. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate that. And here's my buddy Donnie who is one of the organizers of this event today with his 94 Corvette. And parked right beside mine. And you may or may not be able to see, the heater core has been leaking underneath, but you know what, it's here and we will get it home because we are just around the block. local fire departments are pulling off a fire truck pull today with several fire departments and they've each got their own fire chief's trucks here so there's St. Andrews we've got Deer Island here and here is our brand new I believe it's a 2019 Ram 1500 and we just got it lettered up this week is a big brute. So part of what makes this an international festival is the fact that both sides of the border, right here in St. Stephen, New Brunswick, and in Callis, Maine, we come together for events like this truck pull. So what they're gonna be doing today is they're gonna be taking this fire truck from Callis with a bunch of guys, and they're gonna be pulling this one across the line. I think it's roughly 100 feet. And we've got the St. Stephen fire truck on the other side. Going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to try and catch some of that when the action starts. Drivers ready. 
On your mark, get set, pull! And there you have it guys, that is the end of today for International Festival, the car show, the truck pull. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And as always, this video is sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. They sponsor this beard. There is a link in the description box below as well as Last Fit Automotive. Sponsors old grandma with her headlights, her LED headlights, and soon to be an addition to the lighting system on this car. You can check out Last Fit Automotive right here and you can receive your very own 10% discount by using promo code OLDCARAUTOGUY10. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.